assalamu alaikum viewers uh, this is lecture mustafa with i am chemist today we are going to uh, look at some of the pmc papers and we are going to uh, solve some of the questions so question number 181 uh, it dash me a lot of money so it the answer is option b it cost me a lot of money because it is in past tense 182 any and her brothers they share school or at school this is in present simple tense so the subject is compound because we have any and her brothers so uh, the verb we are going to use here is plural that is option b r 183 my father often is here my father often comes here often actually um, shows repetition or the regularities so it is in present tense next one is 184 Dane dash a lot of friends Dane has a lot of friends right the is the subject is singular and uh, we always use has with a singular subject Dane has a lot of friends next one is 185 we shall dash there for a week we shall be going there it's option a and um, yes the option a is correct one next one is 186 the gardener will have dash the flowers so here we have uh, have in the sentence so we uh, always use the third form of verb with has or have if there is has or have in the sentence you should always put the third form of the verb that is plugged ed so option a is correct for 186 the gardener will have plugged the flowers next one is 187 bewildered bewildered, bewildered means confused confused you are bewildered it means you are confused and uh, next is 188 we have to choose the correct sentence from the following so the different between these sentences are the punctuation mark and uh, we have to select the right one so here option d however comma it didn't take long for others to jump on board uh, the option one, option one is correct because uh, we have a discourse marker in the sentence beginning that is however so however after uh, this course mark we always put comma right so the option d is correct the other two options b and c is incorrect because uh, in the in sentence number b there is no comma after however it is incorrect and option c is incorrect because uh, if there is a question mark at the end it's not a question so it is incorrect okay now let's move to the next question and it is 189 the captain along with his team are practicing very hard for forthcoming matches uh, this question is not clear because uh, a part of the question is missing so the highlighted part suggests that maybe we have been asked about the verb phrase verb phrase actually uh, verb phrase of the just may verb so it may be about verb phrase and 190 we have been knowing each other since we are children again the question is not complete and if we uh, are asked to identify the verb phrase so we have to mark we have to choose option b being knowing right so it's uh, it actually have the verb in it so we'll uh, in that case we have to choose option b question number 191 i am in london this summer i wish english so it is in present simple tense so uh, am the verb am shows it is in present tense so we have to um we have to choose the next verb accordingly right so i am in london this summer may is london i dash 
English. I am learning English. मैं English सीख रहा हूँ It's in present tense. Okay, it's in present continuous tense. Next one is one nine two. Although he studied hard, he could not succeed. Dash getting a high score in his test. Right. So uh, in this one, we have to choose the right preposition. Although he studied hard, he could not succeed in getting, on getting, or at getting. So the right one is in getting high score in the test. Okay. And then one nine three. Who is? Who is? How should? How can we write who is in? Short form in contraction form. So option C is correct for it. In that case option B will be correct. Who um, we always put uh, apostrophe right uh, to con to make it a contraction. So option C is correct. Then one nine four. A really sophisticated person would never be dazed enough to think that he is always right. So. The right answer for this one is option B. Naive, naive. कहते हैं सादा लोग, यानी बेवकूफ. A really sophisticated person would never be naive enough to to think that he is always right. एक जहीन, एक समझदार शख्स कभी भी ये नहीं जाने, ये नहीं समझेगा कि वो हमेशा दुरुस्त है. One nine five. Choose the correct sentence. We have to choose the correct sentence. From uh, the given sentences below, I don't like this one bit," said Jamil. All these sentences are same except the punctuation marks. Right, so we have to uh, find the one which is with correct punctuation. Right, so it's option B. I don't like this one bit. So it is in direct speech. So when someone says something and you quote it exactly, so you have to put it in inverted commas. So in this case, option B is correct because the words which Jamil said is put in the inverted commas. Option B is correct. And then one nine six, the robber broke into the house and dash uh, the loan occupant with ropes. Okay. Uh, Robert broke into the house and died. So the verb given in the bracket here. So we have to choose the correct tense, right? So it should be died because it's in the past. Broke, broke at the hand. Choi gane ko, right? The kethi ko. The broke, uh, the robber broke into the house. It is in past tense. We have to choose the next uh, tense, uh, respectively, right? So it's option A, tied. And then one nine seven, the dog sprang, dash him, right? Uh, sprang, it's like jumping. It it's the past tense of spring. So sprang is past tense of spring to jump up. So the correct preposition uh, here is B, upon, upon the dog sprang upon him. के ऊपर उछलना अपॉन का मतलब है उछलना कि ऊपर उछलना ओके एंड देन वी हैव वन नाइन एट एवरी वन हुज इंजर्ड इन द एक्सीडेंट वॉज टेकन ऑन दॉस्पिटल टू द हॉस्पिटल एवरी वन हुज इंजर्ड इन द एक्सीडेंट वॉज टेकन टू दॉस्पिटल सो इन दिस दिस क्वेश्चन इज नॉट कम्प्लीट बिकॉज वी डोंट नो वट हैज बीन आवर्स फ्रॉम एस सो वी लीव इट Then one nine nine. Everyone dash done his or her homework. So what um, auxiliary verb we should use here is option A has. Everyone is actually a singular subject, and with every singular subject we should use has. So everyone has done his or her homework, and then. Two uh, zero zero. The last one. Dash. I can like. Uh, this is called dash hourglass. So we have to uh, put the correct article. Article are actually A, A and and B, right? So here uh, option C is correct.
in icon in icon is actually starting with a vowel so we have to put in here like this is called in our gloss for the next one there should be n as well but you can see uh, our gloss is starting with h but uh, it sounds like a vowel right our it, it looks like it sounds like it's starting with o so we have to use n with with this with this one as well so that's it uh, see you in the next lecture inshallah stay connected with i am commissed love this